903 and developing this morning. We're expecting to learn more today about this deadly fire that happened in Delaware County, killing a disabled woman who was inside. Investigators say they have strong reason to believe that that fire was set intentionally. For more on that, reporter Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Bayetto is at the scene in Darby Township with the latest for us this morning. Marcella, what can you tell us? Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Janelle. That's right. Police believe that someone set fire possibly to this home right behind me, and now the family is coming forward and demanding justice. He came up and poured an accelerant on a porch. I want him to spend the rest of his life in prison. And that's still not good enough. Lynn McFadden believes someone who knows her family targeted them after a 20 year old woman who had cerebral palsy died in a fire inside of their home in Darby Township. She couldn't communicate verbally, but she gave you the biggest, beautiful smile. All that was left of the scene was a severely damaged home and a metal accessibility ramp in the 600 block of Sharon Avenue. McFadden, the victim's great aunt, and other family members visited the home on Sunday afternoon as the Red Cross provided them with assistance for temporary housing. It's a shock. Everybody is like in shock. We don't, it's, it, we don't believe it. Darby Township police say the fire started at around 12:30 on Sunday morning. Neighbors say they woke up to multiple agencies attempting to get the fire under control. I'm praying for them, but um, it was a bad night. Um, they were out here. I think they could stabilize things about 5:30. Several people were able to escape the heavy flames and smoke, including the victim's mother, who is a Philadelphia police officer. Neighbor Tina Arda Watson didn't want to be on camera, but she says her heart goes out to the family. It just was horrible, and I just, you know, pray that, you know, the mom, you know, gets some kind of help, or you know, somebody is with her during this hard time. Now, police tell us that they do have a suspect, but no charges have been filed just yet. Live in Darby Township, Marcel Bayetto, CBS. Three, uh, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Just heartbreaking there, Marcella. Thank you for those details.